It's the latest dispute among a coalition beset by divisions. The leader of a Tekatul, a major partner in the coalition, is now distancing himself from the Anahda party. He accuses Anahda of sidelining its allies and dominating the government. We did fail in uh, solving different issues uh, because there were uh, political conflicts. Every party would like to get some benefits and prepare himself to or itself to the uh, next elections. Earlier, the Congress for the Republic or the CPR Another secular member of the ruling coalition threatened to pull out. They all disagree about how to end this crisis and what's best for Tunisia, a nonpartisan or a political government. But the opposition has a different view. The Popular Front, a gathering of leftist parties, accuses a Nahda of hijacking the revolution. The Parliament has failed to draft the Constitution and tackle our problems. We are in an exceptionally delicate situation and therefore we need exceptional measures. It was the assassination of a prominent opposition leader that plunged the country into its worst crisis since the 2011 revolution. The opposition blames a Nahda for the killing of Shukri Balaid who was an outspoken critic of the government. In a bid to break the deadlock, Prime Minister Hamadi Jabali said he would form a government of technocrats who would run the country until new elections are held. A move welcomed by the opposition, but not likely to be backed by a Nahda, Jabali's party. Tunisians, too, are as divided as their political leaders. Mr. Jibali is a good man. I'm not with another party. I'm against them. But I believe that sometimes a man uh, arises like that and he's the right man for the right moment. We are tired of these problems. I hope Tunisia can go back to the days of former President Ben Ali because during his rule, life was much better. The political class remains undecided about how to move forward, but the general sentiment here is that if the impasse drags on, the country may face further instability and uncertainty. Hashim al-Bala, Al-Jazeera, Tunis.